Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. I still have yet to study. I've been strongly meaning to uh, study materials that Alexi has very kindly provided me. Have not gotten to it yet. Hopefully can get to that later today or tomorrow. I know I've been saying that and saying that and saying that, but um, I'll try to get to that. Um, so, in the meantime, let's play some games. Good luck. Oh wow, that's still quite loud. Forgive me. <laughs> We're next year. Yeah, you never know, right? Okay, uh, I forgot my speaker volume was boosted because I couldn't hear the live stream from this morning. Um, all right, there we go. Yeah. Sometimes when I get really excited about um, a project I'm working on, I um, I get distracted from my studies. Okay. How does this thing go again? I think like this. And then like that. I don't remember that. Um, hmm. Well, let's load up another proverb, just for fun. <laughs> um, not to erase a comment or anything, but um, just for decoration purposes. Alexi is right, though. <laughs> um, I'll get to it soon. Um, oh, I... Okay. Well, we're going to try this. <laughs> this feels so crazy. Uh, wait, that doesn't do much, does it? Because I don't have a pawn in hand. That's the difference here. As I was thinking about pawn takes here, bishop takes, or I was thinking pawn takes, silver takes. What I forgot is they could simply just take this pawn. Um... And I don't have a pawn to recapture with. Well, this is our first game in the morning. Um, hopefully things will trend upward from here. It would be hard to trend otherwise. I was so fixated on, like, they're helping me activate my rook, and this doesn't make any sense. The kind of forgot about the rest of the position. Um, so I still don't know, like, should I move my gold up to the left here to try to s prevent this rook from entering, or should I move my gold toward my castle? Firm up the castle a little bit, because I'm going to need it in just a second. Um, I'm thinking this is the rational thing to do. So this knight still can't move. They could move this silver up and defeat my attacking ideas, and I don't know what to do against that. Um, and in a perfect world, I would have moved my rook to the left already onto this file and then brought the bishop back and over and hit this this way, but I'm not in a perfect world right now. Far from it. They attacked very aggressively, and I don't know what to do. But at least we were making them think also. It's not just me thinking. So bishop takes, bishop's exchange. Yeah, I... 
Generally, the Bishop Exchange favors uh, the Static Rook player. I don't recall why, but generally that is the case. Alright, so this is my brilliant plan. Mm -hmm. Now what's protecting this knight? The invisible pawn. Hang on a second. Um, uh, what the hell is going on in this game? Okay, I can't move my silver out there because there's a visible pawn right there, but um Alright, I don't want to have a floating rook in the center of the board after moving my silver up. Um We're gonna activate my rook. And then start aiming toward their king. I should also consider, and maybe I should have played a bishop drop here, but activating the rook is quite important. Um, all right, now that they're threatening to bring out their rook with gain of tempo, I think I have to do this. Oh, they could move out the knight. Gosh darn it. Wait, no, if they do that, I take their rook, they take my rook, I take a knight. It's fine. I had planned that. Or we even exchange knights first, and then I take that and I take their token. But then they drop a fork here, and I lose one of my bishop or gold general. So, yeah, if they advance the knight, we just take here. Um, maybe I misread something. Wow. Okay. Um, they're threatening this pawn to hit my rook. Yeah, I don't know what to do about this. Well, having my rook so exposed to this pawn attack seems unwise, so we'll handle that this way. Oh, I can't drop a knight here. Finally, we've seen a position where... I've always wondered, like, why would you consider a knight drop so far up the board. This is like the only position where you'd actually consider that, but it's not legal. Um, because then the knight has nowhere to go. Oh, thanks. Yep. All right, so we're attacking this silver. Well, looks like our opponent's going to get to promote their rook, and I get to promote my rook. Unless I take their lance first, but no, that's crazy. Is it? I don't know what to do. Now, we're going to attack uh, quite forcefully. So... The silver protects this pawn, which is why I hesitated to exchange bishops in the first place. Because um, we eventually hit a position where the silver is decently placed. And so now to crack this shape, it's not going to be easy. Even if we had the lance and it were attacking this, that wouldn't be enough. We'd need another idea. Um, so, 
Oh, a knight hitting this, hitting the lance, could be interesting. A knight on 3-4, in general, is a decent idea against uh, this exposed shape. Um... Go Oh, hang on. I've got an idea. Uh, this is a rated game, so I'm supposed to be the player playing it. Um, so that's a fork. Now you might say, uh, both of these pieces are protected. And that observation would be accurate to a point. Um, where that point is that Yes, they're both protected by the same piece. Um, all right. Well, crap. There is an answer to that, isn't there? Um, that can't possibly last. Oh, my goodness. So if silver drop, bishop takes. Yeah, I've gotten nowhere. That's annoying. Well, this bishop doesn't... What do I do about this? That was actually a very good defensive move. Or at least it feels that way. Um, if I drop a piece here, bishop takes. Alright, I don't see a way to break that. So we're going to run away. Um, and then our opponent gets to retreat this bishop, and it's a beautifully placed defensive piece, as long as it's capable of staying on this diagonal. So then my next task is to remove the bishop from the diagonal. Oh my god. Uh, that is something else. Why did they play that? If their objective was to confuse me, they have succeeded. Um. Nifun Sanjibio. My attack hits way earlier than their attack hits. So unless my attack has some serious fault in it, um, I think I'm doing okay. Now, maybe they can take all my generals, and maybe that's the weakness here. 
if they take this gold general, maybe I'm forced to recapture. Um, because otherwise, well, no, I, my gold covers the square next to my king. So if they drop a bishop here, I can take it. Dragon takes, I drop a bishop here again. I don't know what they do. Likely they're going to drop a bishop here to defend their dragon indirectly. And then we exchange, and then they have a bishop out in no man's land, and then I take two pieces here. Unless I can find something better. If I take the bishop, pawn takes, I drop, they drop something. I don't think they have mate there. Let's take this. Oh. This is curious, isn't it? So that's another fork. Check. And then I think I take this. Because I have some self preservation instincts. And I survive. Oh god. I missed mate. Like, clearly I have checkmate with this overwhelming preponderance of force. Um, it's not even close. So... I missed it. Um... Okay, we're going to remove the king from the castle so I can take this without losing my dragon. Um, unless I've got mate here also. If I do have mate, it starts with that. Yeah, this is mate. Um, yeah. Thanks for the game. Alright, that was exciting. Let's play another. What's our next proverb today? Good luck. Uh, here we go. Let's just play fourth foul rook. Okay, or whatever. Yeah, now let's just do it. It's a strategy, right? Um, what the hell? Okay. Let's try this. Thank you. I played some good moves last game. Although I missed one checkmating sequence at the end, so... It wasn't a perfect game.
But we played some good moves. Alright, I have activated my Rook on this fourth file without any resistance. Um, or without meeting any resistance. That's what I meant to say. Um, if they push up the silver, maybe I drop a pawn. I don't know. Not sure how good the pawn wedge is. Um, it would mean a lot more if the wedge were right in front of a king instead of in front of something else. Um, So let's retreat. And just for visual interest, what's our next proverb today? Alright, so they... Mm -hmm. I play this predictable move. Doesn't make it bad. Um, if I move up my bishop and if we exchange bishops and they push this again... I don't have a hard counter to what they've done. Much as I wish I did. Um, Alright, hopefully that's not a blunder to move the bishop, or the gold, out this way. Mm -hmm. They defend this, that costs a move. All right, they keep trying to save this tempo. They've saved the tempo. Well done. We prevent this rook from activating. Maybe this is a fair exchange. Nanafun. Curious again. Okay, I'm going to relocate my rook in a fancy way. I don't know why I did this in such a fancy way. I could have just dropped the rook back one. Instead we have to go around the universe to do this. Um, it's okay. It's just... Well, okay. Part of the reason I did it is to try to inspire this knight move. Um, because nothing can defend this knight. Whoa! All right, let's activate our bishop. Um, Maybe I should have done this first.
wait a second. Maybe this is still okay. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, you'd mentioned uh, having an interest in trying to do live streaming of your games. Um, which sounds exciting, right? Um, I don't know. Don't know how much I advocate getting drunk, but um, it's good to live a little. Um, Mm hmm. Hmm. Go for This is a position. My king is not invincible here, so I need to proceed with some degree of caution. I just don't know how much caution is appropriate. Um, all right, let's do this. The dragon belongs in your opponent's camp. The horse belongs in your own camp. So now I've got a dragon in my opponent's camp. That's a fork. Sure. Um, this is a check to escape the fork. So now I'm running from a fork, which they tell you not to do. Um... Wow. Okay then. What have I missed? Okay, we'll defend my dragon. This does, I suppose, block my pawn. A more aggressive try would be pushing the pawn and then gold takes, pawn takes, and trying to see if I could mate with that. Our opponent has two pawns and a bishop in hand, so if I just stop their attack, then I get to attack and crush them. Um, so that's the plan. Um... All right, so if the silver moves, then I have a fork. Um, suppose I've been careless here. Yeah. Okay, we're going to shut the rook out from this file. Ah. Uh, I just had a good time with your family. Okay, that's good. It's, I suppose that's healthy. Um. Something. Alright, so I'm attacking this. Eventually, after this exchange happens, I can take a knight and then drop a bishop to attack. Um, interesting. Alright, I take your knight. I guess you take my gold, right?
2分30秒。Right, I'll attack your rook. Let's see if you defend that or not. Everything's hanging in this position, which maybe is not great. Um, all right, they defend their rook. Um, All right, I need this to break in, I think. Are they going to drop another piece? The more pieces they drop, the fewer they'll have to attack with later when I trap their bishop. If I trap their bishop. Um. Okay. Okay. So we shut this horse out of the game and attack over here. This could be another target, so maybe I shouldn't have dropped the lance. I don't know. I do know with my king on this diagonal and my dragon over here, I have to be careful about what I do next. but I don't know what to do. So I hit the rook and the lance.
I know my dragon's under attack. A second ago I was not aware of that, but now I know it. But thankfully it doesn't matter. Um. Sanjibyo. for the game. Alright, that's two games. Let's take... Uh, let's play one more. Good luck. That doesn't make sense. Alright, let's develop. Oh! Alright, so this is our opponent's intention. It's to attack over here, no matter what. Um, I think I can accommodate. I misplayed this. This game is going to get more difficult now. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is where our first exchange happens, it appears. Let's activate the rook this way. Or see if they drop the pawn to defend the bishop. Maybe I should have dropped a pawn here. Maybe that would have been excellent. I don't know.
in the slow game, the bishop has the leading role. Well, this... At first, this is going to be a slow game. But probably not for long. Some threatening bishop here, which attacks this not really pinned bishop, but it could be pinned. Well, it's threatening if they move this bishop, I could take the silver and then take that silver, and we exchange rooks. So I get two silvers for a bishop. I don't know what that is like. Um, okay, they place their only pawn. Um, mm, bishop exchange here is not good. How bad is it? I don't know. Nanaf. All right, I'll just go back and defend this. Oh, exchange on my turns. Interesting. That's actually not terrible. This rook is floating. Uh, if I retreat, things get messy. What if I retreat forward? AKA advancing. Um, So now I'm attacking a knight, then I'll be attacking a rook. This is kind of cool. Our opponent's looking for an, bishop, an effective bishop drop, but seeing that they don't have bishop 5-5. Five five. Um, and now it's dawning on them. how complex this position could be. Um, they might drop a bishop in front of my rook. Uh, maybe I should have brought my knight out. I don't know. Well, that's not in front of my rook. Um, hmm. I forgot that this... oh, well, okay. That's interesting. All right, so this is a quick way to activate my rook. Um, Go Fun.
confused. If I take that pawn takes, if I take here, if I drop back here again, they take my gold. Something. This knight is vulnerable. Shit. Alright, so my ideas about repairing my castle were terrible. Um, let's go back here.
We got this fork. <laughs> yeah. Um. This sucks. They might not even take. Well, they probably should take my dragon. They almost certainly should take it. Um. I think this is my only chance. Oh, wait a second. They have this attacking point. This is not much of a chance. Still, I think now. Ippun. Okay, they have a mate in one threat. I don't. Sanjubio. Nijubio. I missed that. Thanks for the game. Well played. Alright. So there we go. Three games. Not exactly three wins. Oh well. There's always next time. I hope we've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.